Hey everyone, welcome to the Lookout Sir 40k Quiz of the Year 2022. Myself and Phil have been working tirelessly all year to continue to bring Warhammer 40,000 loveliness that is Lookout Sir. We're delighted to bring you yet another Christmas special, albeit with a little less production than what you may have come to expect in the past isn't that right phil uh well exactly normally we would be in a like a mini studio set up all hanging out together uh, we haven't managed to do that this year for a variety of reasons uh but also Tim we're all COVID. too sick aren't we phil we're all too sick yeah it's, it's kind of worked out for the best this way yes yeah yes yes uh but we're still we're still all wearing our christmas get up our little jumpers and our hats uh and full of festive cheer um so yeah I mean, I think it's going to be a good quiz. Yeah. I think so. I think so. And we hope you enjoy it. And thank you so much for continuing to support the Lookout Sir 40K podcast. We really appreciate it. And we hope you enjoy this edition of the 40K Quiz of the Year. Cheers. Hello everyone and welcome to this year's edition of the Lookout Sir 40k Quiz of the Year. I'm Quizmaster Richie and we're about to get into the proceedings. So let's start by introducing our players. Uh, we'll start with someone you are probably very familiar with. It's our Dan. Hello everyone. Happy Christmas. It's a delight to be here once again competing for the coveted prize of whatever it is we happen to have lying around. Um... Yeah, no, really happy to be here. Thank you very much, Rich, for hosting again. Um, you always do such a fabulous job with this quiz, so I'm looking forward to the proceedings. So, yeah, thank you very much. Um, I suppose, as is the established tradition of things, I have a buzzer and a trinket that I need to uh, reveal. I'll start with my trinket, of course, which is none other than my coveted you can't actually see the text, but believe me when it says <laughs> Knight of the Inner Circle Award. Yes, that's right, everyone. I don't know if you've heard or not, but I got one of these because I'm brilliant. And you can't say otherwise because I have glass that says as much. Um, <laughs> it's a very prestigious award. I, I hear they don't even give them out anymore. Yeah, well, that's it. You see, once they've given one to me, they knew that they could never get anyone any greater. So this is where the journey ended. Um, Tim tried to get one, but he just wasn't cool enough. Isn't that right, Tim? It is. I came so close. <laughs> Absolutely, mate. One day. Oh, wait. It's gone now. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, you, I hear you have a buzzer, Dan. Yes, I do. I do indeed. And here it is. Ay, 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 ay. And what a buzzer sound that is. I assume you'll be, edit- you'll be adding the buzzer sound in. You're not supposed to break the magic. But yes, that's what's <laughs> happened. <laughs> Thank you, Dan, uh, our first player uh, there this year. Uh, moving on to our next player, you'll probably, probably be familiar with him as well. It's Philip. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, lovely to be here. I'm in I'm in my lovely hobby shed. Uh, it's a bit cold outside. I've got a little, a little thermometer here. It's a chilly 15 degrees C at the moment. Uh, it will no doubt get colder as the quiz goes on, because I can't have the heater on while we're recording. Uh, so it'll be fun to see if that uh, impacts uh, how I do on the quiz. That's not that cold, 15 degrees C. Well, I mean, it's it's not that cold when you've got three layers on. <laughs> I mean, it is actually zero degrees outside. I've had the heater on all afternoon, so it's warmed up a bit. But, you know, your house will probably be between... I don't know, eighteen and twenty. So it's a it's a little bit on the nippy side, let's say. I'm gonna I'm gonna side with Phil here. Fifteen degrees is pretty cold. I was at a Santa's Grotto this morning. It was one degree outside. That that's what I'm, that's that's cold. But you expect that from the outside, not the inside. This is meant to be the inside. It is uh, the inside outside, I guess. 
Well, that is. Well, I, I am glad that your your shed is nice and warmed and ready to keep you in good spirits, so that you also could potentially win uh, the lookout sir quiz for the first time. Uh, do you have any mascots or trinkets with you though to help you win? I do, I do. If you remember back to the very first quiz, I had a lovely photo of uh, Sean Bean playing the role Sharp, iconic role. Uh, last year, uh, I had uh, a little head of uh, Sean Bean. As shot, which I still head. have the the little heads, which was all I could afford. So I've still got him uh, here, as you can see. Oh, that's a bit better. There you go. The little head of Sharp. I've still got him. Uh, I did try and buy another Sharp related um, mascot for this year. In fact, I ended up buying two. The first one uh, hasn't been even posted yet because it is that special. Uh, so I did a last minute order a few days ago. It was meant to be delivered yesterday. Still hasn't arrived. So I'm I'm basically I've got the next two years worth of mascots already, uh, but instead what I did is I dug out this uh, vintage pirate uh, that I have. My wife uh, bought this for me uh, quite recently. Uh, I'm calling him Peg Leg Pete, I guess, because he's got little peg legs. So he's going to be my not elf on a shelf. He's going to be my pirate on a I don't know a plank or something up there, guarding my paints and watching over me uh, while I do the quiz. Well, here's hoping he brings you good fortune so that you can have a true prize to put on that shelf. I hope so, yes. Uh, I could do a, a trophy of my own or a, a knight of the Inner Circle Award. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, they don't give those out to just anybody. <laughs> That's true. That, that, that ship has sailed, mate. Okay. It should have been nicer back in the past. I know. I'm just not a nice person. That's all it is. That's what I've come to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, having said that, you may have an incredible buzzer. Is it a returning favourite? Uh, yep, it's uh, going back to the old classic. Wait, hold on. It's Bennett! Always makes me think of Christmas. Strong choice, strong choice. Okay, well, we've met uh, Dan and we've met Philip. For our final contestant this year is Tim returning. Hey, thanks for having me back. It's, um, well, I'm happy to be you here. Sound a little I'll... nasally there, Tim. Yeah, I, I apologise to all the listeners out there for sounding rough, uh, but I'm just getting over a, about COVID. Um, and so the past few days have been a write-off for me. So this is actually the first day that I've actually felt able to concentrate and do something. Um, but happy to be back, as always. Thank you, everyone. We have an advantage, um, Phil. <laughs> I mean, this is me talking about here like i'll be lucky to get off the starting blocks like i'm the wooden spoon award here you're <laughs> so, you're here tim to make us look good exactly that, and i've i've come to terms with this and i'm okay with that and i i just like taking part i'll have the participation award please <laughs> at least not in the physical sense though because i mean who could look better than tim even with covid god what a pretty yeah, boy you guys, you guys. <laughs> Indeed. And do, uh, Tim, what kind of trinkets or mascots have you brought with you to bring you good fortune? Ah, so going on with the theme of COVID and getting over disease and Nurgle, and, sorry, disease and rot, just gave it away there. I brought along my little Nurgling plushie. Oh, He's gonna look at that little fella. My little germs, that little guy, that little guy. Um, so he's going to sit here and hopefully uh, bring me luck. And what does your buzzer sound like this year, Tim? Uh, this year, my buzzer sounds like... Incredible. Amazing. And a very well, you know, rigged sort of, um, you know, seg segment there, Tim. You did that with a level of professionalism that no one else could manage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I've listened to so many of the podcasts that I've just picked off you guys because you guys are the pinnacle of professionalism now. I was going to say, clearly not this one, but all right, fair enough. I'll take the compliment. <laughs> rub of it, Dan, rub of it. I Don't am, I am. I am. Off into the, off into the woods. <laughs> So that is our contestants uh, for this year. Unfortunately, Joe is not. Joe, the current champion, was unable to join us this year. Uh, and unfortunately, that means he didn't bring us the trophy to be able to hand over to uh, the next person. But apparently, he's lost it anyway. So there'll be a new trophy, which we'll hopefully be excited to reveal on the socials in the future uh, for what that'll be. Uh, but it doesn't mean that this quiz is any less special. And nothing exemplifies how important and prestigious this quiz is than our scorekeeper. Infiltration of a Voltan facility complete. Downloading memory core from Scorekeeper's servitor unit to new body. 
Designated clone mark 10, merriment activated skin. Download complete. Activating unit. Ho, 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 everyone. It is I, the scorekeeper. And it is lovely to be here for this year in this new, fleshy, velvety body. Now, I would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, yes, even you there at the back. Even you. Now... Before I can do the scores, I obviously need some scores to keep. So, let's get on with the first round. Back to you, chaps. Thank you very much, scorekeeper. Without further ado, let us begin the quiz. First of all, most importantly, no cheating, everybody. This is very. This is a serious quiz. We don't want any cheating. Let's move on to our first question in our first round, which is the year in review. So, question number one. What was revealed at the end of 2021, which caused the whole community to lose their minds? Oh, God. 2021 feels like so long ago. It feels like so long ago, but this, was, this, this happened after we recorded last week's quiz. Uh, Tim has buzzed in. Was it like the announcement or teaser of Leagues of Votan or something? Yeah, it was not anything to do with Leagues of Votan. Dan. Was it that... Um... They announced that they were going into uh, six-month cycles on uh, tournament packs. Nope, nope. Oh, this, this, oh, people lost their minds far then. more over this than that. All right, fair enough, fair mm. enough. Phil's the only one who hasn't had a, had a go. Do you want to have a stab at this one, Phil? Um, no, people no, lost I can't their minds think over what it this. could be. Not going to have any guess? Think of, just pick something that people lost their minds over in the last 12, year, 12 months. Come on, Phil, you can do it. Horace Heresy. Oh my god, yes, Horus Heresy. It was, no, no, sorry, it wasn't it wasn't Horus Heresy. Uh did you have this did you get this at home? The correct answer was the new Tau Railgun rules were revealed. Oh yeah, um, god, those were mad. Uh, was that really a whole year ago? That was at the end of December last year. Wow. Okay, on to question number two. What were the first codexes or codices um Man! released in twenty twenty two? Phil has buzzed in. Uh, it was Gene Steeler Cult and uh, Custodies. That is correct. It was the Gene Steeler Cult and the Adeptus Custodies. Someone is off the, sto- the starting grid now. Phil's been cheating by doing graphics that require you to look back <laughs> at the year. <laughs> That's true. This round, Research. Phil may have an advantage in this round. I feel okay. like he might. Let's see our next question. What was controversially missing in the Warzone Natmuk Grand Tournament Pack? Ay, 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 ay. Dan. They didn't ring bind it. I mean, I would say if this if this was just me, <laughs> I would say that you know I'm gonna. It's not what actually I've got down here because it was before that. When the one before that didn't have the ring binding either, so I will I That's will give true. you a That's point true. for that. I will give you a point, even though it's not actually the correct answer on the board. Petty it points is still controversial will get me to the top because it should have a ring binding. It's disgraceful. It doesn't. It's not, however, the answer you got on on the sheet. Uh, Phil. Uh, well, my original guess was going to be ring binding as well, but was it the points? Nope, it was not the points. Tim, you're last up. What was uh, missing from the Warzone Grand Tournament pack, which uh, was in previous versions of the rule pack? I was going to say points as well, but missions? <laughs> I know, I know, I'm oh so good, I know. <laughs> oh, you know, well, there's no points of the What do you think? It's, it's, it's over. What do you think it is, Dan? The rules. Core cool rules, It yeah. was, it was the core rules were not present in for the first time. Oh... Uh, <laughs> Uh, but you got your pity point, so you know you you, you kind of. I got my pity point, which is <laughs> now as good as the point I could have got. There you as, go. as good as the regular I'll take point. It. All right. Next question. In February, which unit finally got a plastic kit? Wow. Tim. Was it the Cadian? No. No, it wasn't Cadians. Aye, aye, in February. Aye, 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 aye. Dan. I will say, it was. The Corsairs. It was not the Corsairs. No. Phil. No. Uh, I'm going to go uh, Plastic Krieg got their solo release. No, Krieg came out before then. They did as a general kill team box, but I think it got released individually th- this year. No, uh, technically, I mean, technically. It might have done. Mm. Technically, technically. Mm. That's not the answer. Uh, Dan, you're going to fall back because you've been complaining about this for years. It was Eldari um, Guardians. That's all right. 
What? Uh, but the Ozari Guardians have had plastic kits for years. Maybe it was. Maybe I should have said new plastic kit then. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Paul says. How would I've never had a plastic kit. Guardians have been plastic since like. 2001. Or that's why I went with like, Creed, because they're resin. Maybe I should... Okay, that's maybe on me, because I, 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 sh- I should have put new... <laughs> it's fine. Kit. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Next question, assuming that I haven't ballsed up the question. Assuming <laughs> I haven't ballsed up the question. <laughs> Here's next one. It's all right. Between your questions and our answers, we're in for a long day. Uh, Games Workshop has had many leaks this year, uh, <laughs> but what leaked ahead of the LVO in February? Oh, God. What was that? Uh, it was... Oh, Lord. Ay, 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 ay. The Tyranid Codex. It was not the Tyranid Codex. Damn it! I'm so certain. Phil, Tim, do you want to go? Mm. Phil. Uh, I will go for uh, the Votan. It was not the Votan. I wish I should I should have put more law questions in if you were <laughs> if he was going to get the models. Tim, do you want to ever go get pick a model that was released no, this year? I, released this year? Well, yeah, because it was revealed in February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go with the um, new demon prince. Uh, yeah, it was not a new demon prince because that's far No, it was the avatar of Cain. Oh, yes, they actually, yeah, reveal, yeah, they actually yeah. put some actual pictures out rather than, rather than letting the potato cam ones exist on the it's, internet. Uh, nice to see that Richie still kept the uh, difficulty of the questions up <laughs> there, as always, keeping his uh, keeping it consistent. Just we're idiots. That's not. It's not Richie's <laughs> fault. We're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So, no, well, you, I, I took out a law round because you guys were complaining about the law questions being too hard. All right. Next That's question. True. We did complain. Who won both LVO 2022 and the US Open? Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> Dan. Dave Sigler. Sorry, that's not the correct answer. Was it David Sigler? The, you're half right. <laughs> Am I? Oh, I've got his name wrong. Oh, Lord. Is it, is it Richard Sigler? It is Richard Siegler. Ah, oh, I didn't know. Oh, one LVO and then won the finale. Thanks, Dan. Because if it wasn't for that, I'd have, I wouldn't have got it. I, I I forgot his first name. I knew the Siegler bit. I just didn't know uh, for some reason Dave was where it came. From. <laughs> and he won with Admech. always defaults to Dave, <laughs> <laughs> who allow like the worst one of the worst armies in the game now, according to Meta Watch. Not back, not back at the LVO though. No, then no, he he, he wins and then they're rubbish. Basically. Okay. Okay. This is a is a picture. You can see a picture in this next question. And you just have to tell me what is happening in this picture. Here we go. <laughs> Tim has buzzed in first. <laughs> Tan's complaining about all the book work to do with um, the con the con- contest. Oh, what is it? Oh God, Tim! No, I'm going no, to I'm, I'm need you to tell me what what, what Tim, conquest. Okay. It's the conquest system. I'm sorry, Tim. No, I'm system. sorry, Tim. I can't give you the point. I'm sorry, Tim. I can't give you the point. Next in was Dan. This is a picture of me having a lovely time bookkeeping my crusade force at Warhammer oh, World nice. during a crusade event, which I didn't enjoy. <laughs> uh, that that is correct. We would have accepted Dan playing Crusade, <laughs> which is something we thought yes, would never yeah. happen, oh but he God. did do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the last question what? in this round. Uh, last question in this round. Different system. Uh, how many days has it been since Games Workshop said they would add support for Crusade to the 40k app? Ay, 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 ay. Dan. Well, it's been nearly uh, two and a half years. So whatever the amount of days are for two and a half years, I guess, what is it, like 350-something days in a year? 352? 354? I can never you remember. So I'm going to say... Four. Oh. I'm going to say... What are you going to go with? 
875. You're going to go 875. Uh, you're not yeah. spot on. So, Tim, what do you think? Uh, I was going to say 752. 752. Oh. You're also not spot on. Finally, Phil, whoever's closest is going to get the one. What are you going to go for? Slightly lower. Uh, I'll say 750. 750. So I can tell you that Dan is the winner for this one because the correct answer as of time of recording is 870 days. Oh, wow. Whoa! So close. So close. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and that's the end of the first round. Now let's go over to the scorekeeper for the current standings. Now that was a very gripping round for our year in review. Now let's take a look at the scores. Now for Dan, he did very well with two whole points. Well done, Dan. A very good start. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, Phil also got two points. Uh, Well done for you, Philly boy. And sadly, poor, poor old Tim only got zero. He didn't get anything. Uh, there is a little tear, can you see, going down my cheek for you. Maybe you will do better next round. Uh, but anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the show. So, still all to play for. As we now move into our second round, the silhouette round. Our contestants will see a my silhouette. My favourite round. Is it? I, I hear Phil's a big fan of this one, especially over the internet. Feels a bit worried because his internet connection is rubbish, so he thinks he's at a disadvantage. <laughs> I will be seeing it a couple of seconds behind everyone else, I think. Come on, points. Well, I still have faith in you, Phil. I reckon you could maybe get one. Hopefully everyone does better than the last round. Okay, here we yes. go to our first silhouette. Which model? They're all going to be of They're all going to be of models, just to be clear. Okay. Uh, here's our first. Understood. <laughs> here's, our, here's our first one. Which model is this? Who has the best internet speed? <laughs> oh, Dan's buzzed in. I know what it is, but I forget what it's called. So I'm going to bow out because I can't remember. It's Hearth something, blokey matey, jobber blokey, jobber. Blokey matey, jobber jobber. I cannot accept that as an answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Phil. With jetpack. Um, is it something like it's the, the, the Heathkin? Is it like... Um... Is it like Ironheart Heathkin or something? It's the, the special character uh, or name. Uh, what is your answer, Phil? I'm going to have to no, make you choose one. Of, what, what's your answer going to be? I'm just going to say uh, Halfkin. Well, that's all I can I remember. That's, the the that's incorrect. Tim. Hearthstone Berserker. Uh, Hearthstone Berserker. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, this was the Ironheart champion. Yes. The oh, what? The the champion. The the Einhe- it's I, champion. Einhe- champion. Oh. Or Einhe- champion. Well, names, but... Heathkin, Heathkin, the one should. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> moving on to I said our iOS uh, reference. So n- <laughs> moving on to our next silhouette. Um, whose internet connection can load this up quick enough? What is this? <laughs> Tim's very excited. Tim is it's so excited. And, and, you've, and you've buzzed in first, Tim. Yeah, sorry, yes, you, you, you've buzzed in first. <laughs> yeah! So, what, I, think, I think you said it, it right. I you didn't hear what your answer was. I didn't hear, what, I didn't hear your right. answer. I think you said it right. Sloppity Bile Piper. It is the Sloppity Bile Piper. You're off the, you're <laughs> off the starting grid now, Tim. <clears throat> Quite a befitting point for me today. Yeah, Nurgle's on your side. Okay, here is our next silhouette. Wow. It's oh, first is Tim again. No, I've forgotten his name. It's un, well, no, it's Arkan um, the Destroyer. Mm, I'm sorry, that's not correct. Ah, it's close. Next was Phil. Um, I don't know his name, but it's the new uh, world. Eaters, Terminator, Warhammer Plus Mini. Jobba Jobba. Uh, it, it, it may well be that <laughs> Mini, but if you don't tell me its name, oh, you don't God. get the points. Oh, uh, God, Dan. we're doing this again. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, what was it? Oh, it's a World Eater. That's not enough. That's not enough. Dan, what, what do you think Terminator, it is? Terminator, limited edition, 
I, I don't I don't know the name of this model, so if Tim was close, I'd give it to Tim. I am going to give it. I'm, I'm going to give the point to Tim because his, his while, inc- while incorrect, it was closer than what anybody else said. Uh, the correct answer was Azrak the Annihilator. Azrak, sorry, thank you. I'm giving you the point, Tim, because you you had you actually had you oh. you actually had the kind of spacing and the style of the name down. So I'm giving you the point. Yeah, thank you. Something the something. I'll take it. There's something, there's something. <laughs> not the same as Jobber Jobber. No, not the same as Jobber Jobber. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on to our next silhouette. <laughs> nope, first was Dan. That is a Death Strike missile vehicle. Oh, God, is it just called a Death Strike missile? Death Strike missile. It's incorrect. It is not a Death Strike. <laughs> Phil. Well, it's even a Death Strike. It might be even Manticore. Is that your answer? Yeah, Manticore. It is the Manticore. Well, well done, Phil. Well, well, like how you know I give really the answer, answer, and then you say, is that your answer when it's the correct well, answer? You say, well, you, 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 like, you, I don't know if you're going to do like a mini spiel about it. could be the Manticore. It could be the Basilisk. I'm going to go with this. I don't know what you're going to be, where you're going with that. Well, here's the thing. I didn't know if you were going for stuff that's like happened this year, in which case it would more likely be the Death Strike because that's had a big glow up. But I was like, but if it's not that, then it's the Manticore, basically. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to level with you. I went with it because the silhouette looks like a Death Strike. <laughs> I did wonder if that was the case, if it was like a bluff. Yeah. Slippery, was a bit of a slippery bluff. geezer. And I, ca- I caught me a Dan in the bluff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here is our next silhouette. What is this? It's Bennett! Phil. Uh, it's the... Is it the... Uh, is it the Goliath uh, Rock Grinder? It is. It's the Rock Grinder. Yes. Well done, mate. Well you done. Do... I couldn't remember the name. Well, of and you said you were going to do terrible at this. Yeah, I know. Okay, this next one's coming up. Everyone should get this right, so good luck. What is this? So just buzz now and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Pre-buzz. It's Bennett! Oh, it's, it's Phil. It is uh, the new Rough Rider Mini. It is the Attilan Rough Rider. Well done. He didn't say a tillin though. I feel like we should dock him a point. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> There's only one That's type true. now, Dan. There's only a tillin That's, That's true. That's true. Uh, it's a good point. Uh, if I hadn't already added the point, I would I would consider taking it off. But I, no, 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 no. no. I, I'm only okay. playing. Oh, oh, definitely deserve that point. Okay. Next up, a couple more to go in this round. Um, what mini is this? Phil again. How does he keep getting it? <laughs> it's the Goth Rocker. It is the Goth Rocker. Well, you told him to get better internet, and somehow he has. <laughs> it has. I, know. Yeah. I just don't understand. Or everyone else has, has also gotten worse at the same time. <laughs> That's it. That's it. He's sapping our internet from us. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> the monster. Uh, one final silhouette in this round. Which model is this? It's Phil again. What is this? I swear he's cheating. Tank. <laughs> it is the new Rogal Dawn Tank. <laughs> I'm, I'm just good at pictures. Preempting it, mate. That's what I'm seeing from you. Preempting. <laughs> so there's a whole big spiel of the person of Phil complaining he's going to do terrible in this round. And then he storms it. He absolutely storms it. But how much did he storm it by? Well, let's go, ahead, go over to the scorekeeper for an update. Oh, 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 hello, is, is, is this thing on? Oh, oh, yes, it is. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, well, that was a very good gripping second round. Now, uh, let's have a look at the scores. Now, sadly, Dan didn't manage to score any points that round, so he is still on two points. Very respectable points, Dan. Now, Phil, however, managed to score four points that round, putting him on, oh, you can just about see it, six points. Six, well done, putting him ahead of the pack. Well done, Philly. And then 
Congratulations to Chim for getting off the starting block. He has two points too. That's very good of you. So, congratulations everyone. A very strong start for round two. Now, back to everyone at uh, the studio while I go and have a nap because it's, it's quite tiring if I'm honest. Thank you, scorekeeper. Now we move on to our third round, which is the emoji round. Now, before the quiz, all of our contestants were sent some homework and they had to describe a character from Warhammer 40,000 using only emojis. And then these will be presented on the screen. Um, And on the top of the screen, you'll see the name of who did who put the emojis together so they can you can see if they did a good job or not. Uh, The other two players will be able to guess what the character is or the character or the thing is that they have created of emojis. If they get it right, both them and the artist artist will receive a point. However, if nobody gets it right, nobody gets any points. Does that make sense? Exciting. It makes yeah. complete then, sense. Are you going to introduce then, the artist, as you've called so him? So, I can. Um, our so first artist. they know not to... Okay. So, our first artist is Tim. So, only Dan and Phil Ooh. can buzz in for the next three questions. So... Okay. Stay perfectly still, Tim. Stay perfectly still. Don't do anything. Don't buzz in, even if you want to, because you'll only mess it up when you get any points. Here is our first set of emojis. Which character or thing is this? Fix! Burn it! Oh. Phil's buzzed in. It's Commissar Yarrick, old bear lie. That's absolutely correct. It is Commissar Yarrick. <laughs> You well absolute done, Tim. ledge. That was fantastic, to be fair. That was, I was Thank thinking you. old one eye. I had so many different Oh, theories. yeah, it could have been old one eye, yeah. Yeah. Could have been, I was like, but... what, is, what is wheat in this combination? <laughs> <laughs> what does this bring? Well done, Tim. Okay, here is the next set of emojis from Tim. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Dan has buzzed in. Oh, no, I've got it wrong, but I was going to say uh, Captain... No I've, no, I've got it wrong. Phil? Ooh. Phil, do you want to have a guess? No, I can't think of it. I mean, like, Jump Pack Captain could be it. Jump Pack Captain I don't think is what you're exactly going for. No. That's the... Yeah, that would be it. No, sorry, Tim. There's no, like a backpack. No, sure. There's a flight. No. no, sorry, Tim, you don't get a point for this one. Um, the answer was Captain Badruck. Ah, oh, oh, there it was. Because of rucksack. rucksack. Clever. Mm. Yeah. Clever, clever. I got that wrong. Okay, here's the last one from last set of emojis <clears throat> from Tim. Oh my god. Um. What is this? I feel what like I know it is, mean? but I don't know his name. Um, you know who this is? Yeah, I think so. Am I going to be kicking myself once you once you tell me who it is? Uh, yeah, I, I, well, I, know. I, I, I can I can see how, what Tim's done, and I think it's pretty good. Yeah. But God, what's he any called? guesses? Uh, I could give a hint, but I'm not going can, to. Can I Phil. can I explain who it is, but not give his name because I can't remember. What it is? I mean, the, because you're saying that, I suspect you don't know who it is. But go on then. No, no. Uh, well, I think it's uh, like Captain Fisto, the Imperial Fist Captain with the giant fist, because it's Dawn in the middle. Oh, by Imperial Fists. It's King, as in like a captain, and then he's got a big giant fist. So you're going with Tor Garadon. Y- yes, so you're, that's you're who I think Garadon. it is. It is not Tor da- Tor Garadon. Oh Dan. God. King Mountain Hand. <laughs> it's not King Mountain. I'm feeling for you, Tim, no. because you could. It was clearly Phil got what you were going with because that is a picture of the Dawn. But the answer yeah. was Rogal Dawn. Oh, oh it was a Rogel tough one to, to do. Be royal, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know how to do the Rogal in an emoji. If you had. Um... If you had, yeah, I guess if it was like a, a tank of some kind after, not like an actual tank, but, you know, like a water tank just at the end to give you the, this is what it was. Mm. That, I don't know. Good, good effort. That was pretty good. But 
I just I've went in the wrong direction. I saw the fist and I went on the, you know, Imperial Fist bandwagon. Yeah. And you, and you, and, you, and it was meant to be the original Imperial Fist, but no. Yeah, mm. I went with the original Primark. <laughs> the OG. Mm. Thank you for your, your, your artistic efforts there, Tim. You're welcome. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> Next up, we have the, the now Tim. You get to you get to buzz in now, Tim, because we are going to see the emoji delights of Dan. Here is Dan's yeah, first set of emojis. Done. What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Come on, this what? actually this this should be easier than you think. Phil. Of course, it's Inquisitor Greyfax. It is Inquisitor Greyfax. <laughs> hey, that, that is a good one. That oh, is a good see? one. See? Yeah, 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 yeah. That well, that's good. a good so one. You and Dan yeah. both get a point for that. Thank you, Phil. I'm done. Next, here's the next set of emojis, and this is definitely a set of emojis coming from Dan. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is interpretive for sure. Uh, uh, I so want to give clues. It's so difficult to be silent at this moment. I know. I've, I think it's good. I think this, this is a pretty good one. I, I liked what you did with this. <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, <laughs> what could it be? Don't worry, we have the power of editing in this segment. Yeah. So you can take as long as you need. <laughs> yeah, you can take as long as, take as long as you need, and we'll just snap in it once you. We can just cut out the long pause. <laughs> yes. Death date, cat, cat, cow, cow, snake, snake, chicken, chicken. <laughs> There's no cows on the thing, mate. Elephant. It's elephant. Sorry, elephant, 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 elephant. Mm. I feel like it's a Drakari thing, but I can't tell you what. I want to feel like it's an elder thing just because it's Dan. Hmm. I think it's I think do you do you both get you both, do you both want to give up and then I'll give and then I can give you, oh, give you a clue. Yeah, I can't. And then I can give you a clue for it. Okay. okay. How many of each animal are there? Two of each. Now, t- now run with that idea. Oh, I thought that might give I thought that might help. I thought that no. would give it away. When you know, you know, but I don't okay. know us. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Was that so? So, like? so what Glam was clearly going for of was animals coming in two by two, and what animals went in two by two into? Oh, the Ark. Yes, which would make it the Doomsday Ark. <laughs> oh, Doomsday! Uh, right, okay. Uh, clever. <laughs> it is clever. Well, because obviously I could have just done a boat, but I thought that was a little bit too obvious. So I was like, no, no, okay. I will do. I, I, thought, <laughs> I thought the dash was like a minor, so it was like something oh, being no, removed from trying, something I, else. I, to be fair, the dash was to sort of denote that it was a different, I don't know, two different words. Okay, fair enough. You're over for it. Okay, well, let's see how your last image, your last set of images do, Dan. What is this, let's Phil see. and Tim? <laughs> Tim, what do you think it is? Blake Walker. Or was that Plague, Plague Walker? Walker? Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, Tim. That's sorry. not the correct answer. <laughs> you got like the words wrong in both instances. <laughs> but that's the third one you've you <laughs> said. Right. So close. Phil. Is it a pox walker? Yeah! It, it, yes, it is a pox walker. <laughs> That was that was on your fault, Tim, because I was gonna go yeah, Plague know, Bearer yeah. as my initial guess, and then your somewhat jumbled up <laughs> one. Helped. That's uh, my typical jumble up <laughs> words. It's there somewhere. Like if you rearrange them, you'll get the answer. It's fine. That was a good one. Okay. Next up, we're gonna we can critique Phil's emojis. So Tim, Dan, yeah. fingers on the buzzer. I apologise in advance. <laughs> He's apologise in advance. <laughs> but what is what? <laughs> which model or character is this? What? <laughs> Tim's having a go. I think Oof. it's some Blood Angel character. For some reason, I want to say Mephiston. <laughs> it's not Mephiston. Dan, do you want to have a go? Um, I will go with... 
Mm. It's so difficult. It's so difficult. There's so many things, and it, it, nothing about it makes sense. Oh, God, what is it? Star, vomit, blood. Um, eyes. Eyes, puke, blood. Eyes, puke, syringe. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, mate, I'm, I'm there's sorry. no way. I can't get it. I'm going to have to time you out. Uh, I yeah, think, no, please. Uh, I think what Phil's going for with the stars and the eyes is someone who's fabulous. Uh, 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 because it was Fabius Bile. Uh, Makes sense. Makes fabulous. sense. And the needle was just an interpretive addition because that's what he's known for. That is true. Okay, here is the next set of emojis from Phil. Dan and Tim, fingers on buzzers. <laughs> <laughs> pregnant raptor voice um <laughs> a pregnant t-rex <laughs> yes yeah 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 um uh, is it a t-rex it's a rex. I, I i'm impressed phil by no, the way because this was a hard one oh, glad. i'm glad you you appreciate it perfect voice perfect shout it's a flipping rig, this is. It's a flipping rig, <laughs> although he's losing points, I suppose. He, he doesn't get any points if we don't get it anyway. True. No, that's true, yeah. that's true. So in a way, you guys want to, you don't, you guys want to get this wrong, even if you know what it is. <laughs> Dan's going to have a go. What are you going to go for? Stratagems. It's not stratagems. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Tim, Try do you want to have best. a random go at um, a name of a model or character that would be very hard to get emojis for? Yeah, the Riptide. It's not a Riptide. No. <laughs> I think Phil's done quite clever here because that's meant to be, it's not meant to be a pregnant man. Well, it's a man holding his belly, if I'm correct, is what the idea is there. Oh, because it's yeah, Belisarius yeah, yeah. Crawl. Oh, uh, Belisarius Crawl. Lovely, lovely. Mm, okay. Very well done. Good e- very I think it was well a good done. effort, Phil. I think it was a good effort. Right. I think it was mm. very good. When you know what he's. What he was that is a tough one. Oh, I, I hope you'll get the next one. I hope you get the next one. I hope you get this one, next one. <laughs> is this the last one from Phil? What. What is this? <laughs> um, Say what you see. Say what you see. <laughs> Eggplant mouth point bus. Uh, oh God. Um. Oh, oh, oh. You combined a few things here, though, Phil, haven't you? You combined literal and met- and symbolic. Oh, he's gone for literal well, and symbolic. Yeah, yeah. Is it, I guess as a hint, the first two represent one thing. Oh, uh, okay. Right, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm glad you are, because I ain't got a clue. This is, this is a family show, Phil. <laughs> I thought this would be the easy way to represent it. What about what about the people at home? Have you have you guys got a, a idea what this could be? Well, I'll just I'll take a punch. Aye, 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 Dan's, aye, aye, aye. Dan's gonna have a guess. Blow your bus. <gasps> it is not blow <laughs> your bus, though you're oh, partly right. Him, like blunderbuss. <laughs> so close. Blunderbuss. Tim, do you have a guess? Bus is part of it. Yeah, I'll give you five seconds. The only thing I would think of is like the Voltan Land Raider bus thing, but I don't even know the name of it. No, so. no, that's no. It's, it's nothing to do with the Voltan. No, uh, what is it? Then? You may or may not kick yourselves when you know it is the correct answer was a succubus. <laughs> oh, of course, it was. Oh, very clever, very clever. Uh, uh, of course, I tried. I was running, Drakari. It's good, Phil. It was good. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Terrible. So after that round, uh, where you know, less points were given out than we would have liked to, how does that leave the final standings? Let's go in and check in with the scorekeeper. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it was a very good emoji round. Although, Philly, I do believe you might be on my naughty list with that emoji. Tut tut tut. Now let's take a look at the scores. We had a solid outing of two points from Dan, putting him on four. Very good job, Dan. Phil got a good respectable three points, putting him on nine, despite his naughty emojis. And Timmy got a very good solid one point, 
putting him now on free. Well done, Tim. Catch up. You're not too far behind. You can still do it. I believe in you. Thank you very much, scorekeeper. Still all to play for, but Phil is starting to edge ahead of the pack. But let's see what happens next as we go into a year still in review, as we have some more questions about what happened in Warhammer this year. Question number one. Who got kicked out of Warhammer World during the Horus Heresy reveal event? Phil. Uh, Miniac. It was Miniac. Phil. Another point to Phil. You scoundrel. Click on that buzzer. Click on that buzzer. <laughs> Not as much Is as it? a scoundrel as old Miniac, eh? Oh, what a naughty boy. Yeah. Mm. Pay attention to NDAs. Etc. Okay, next question. Which new model released this year was smaller than it looked in promotional images? Ay, 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 ay. Dan. Oh God, I've actually now just forgotten his name, but it's like the it's it's the the tyranid thing, and it's like the oh what's it actually called the plague web uh, wibbly. Oh God. The no, wibbly. No, in my head. But it is the wibbly job a tyranid parasite. I'm gonna say. Can anyone, can Timmy also buzz in? Can you beat that as an no, answer? The names escaped me, I'm afraid. I'm trying, it's, it's on in the that, my tongue, but. In that case, I will get, Dan, I will give you the point. You were close, mm. I was gonna say it was close enough, seeing as, you know, you were closer than anybody else was. It was the Parasite of Mortex. Parasite of Mortex, that was it. It was the bit, the Mortex mm. bit that I was, I knew it was Parasite or something, I just couldn't remember. But he is Diddy, like you think Yeah, it turns out that's a 35 mil base, not a larger base. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I think they still charge like 35 quid for it. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, it's pretty mad. Next question. What was the April 1st surprise reveal? Phil. Uh, It was uh, sort of Leagues of Votan. It was a a, a solo um, image of a, a squat. Leagues of Votan. Go with that. I'm I'm going to give it to you, even though you corrected yourself, because that because the correct answer was it was the return of the squats, because Votan wasn't a thing until afterwards. Um, but I'll give you yeah, the point because you did say it was a squat. Well, that was ex- the, yeah. That was the I would have allowed someone to correct and say actually it was the squats because no one knew what Votan was on April first. But I'll no, give you exactly. the point. Yeah, yeah. The others will be unhappy about that. But I'll give thank you. The you. Point. So kind, so kind. Thank you. So thank, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so humble. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What was the commemorative model for Warhammer Day this year? Ay, 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 ay. Dan. It was a company, Primaris Company Champion. It was not a Primaris Company Champion. Phil. Oh, uh, was it a Chapter Champion then? It was not a Chapter Champion. Oh, Tim. wait. Oh, no, I think it was the Black Sword. Yep, and unfortunately, because the others have already had their go, I'm not going to give them the opportunity to give a more precise answer. Oh. So I'll give you the point, Tim. It was Bayard's Revenge. Oh, oh, that one. Oh. Yeah, the back. Oh, when you said the sword going through, I thought you were talking about the Inquisitor model. Well, no, I was because um, he's about putting his one. sword through the book. I have no memory of where the. If it wasn't Warhammer Day, what was the Primaris champion actually for? <laughs> That was a, a, the event exclusive, event exclusive one. Oh, okay. Yeah, because there, well, there was the Inquisitor with the sword in the book. Um, was a special. There movie. was yes, yeah, yeah. And they, those were those were the the store anniversary model, uh, the Inquisitor one. Yeah, this is the Bayard's Revenge. I don't know if anyone anyone else is still waiting the one hundred and eighty days until it ships. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, was this still not come out yet? Uh, well, it, 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 I think shops? the initial batch went out. <laughs> But yeah, I, I ordered it from, from the official store using my voucher, my Warmer Plus voucher, so I'm still waiting for it to arrive some point next year. Mm. Okay, next question. How long after the release of the Leagues of Votan Codex did it receive a balance update? Ay, 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 ay. Dan. Well, so here's the thing. Technically, it released at a later date, but I'm going to say negative two days. <laughs> Dan's going with negative two days. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Interesting logic there. Uh, next buzzing was Tim. Uh, three weeks. 
Tim's going for three weeks. Phil? Uh, I'm going to say two weeks after the uh, limited edition box set came out. Well, I'm going to tell you that the winner is Dan, because the correct answer, he was right, and he didn't give it away to me. The, it was actually one oh. month before it was released was when the balance update was came out, because the balance well, update came well, after the, wait the a box. Second. You, are you querying this, Phil? Well, no, because I'm saying it came out two weeks after the limited edition box set came out. Dan said no, you, it came uh, out. you didn't specify um, that. that no, that's exactly what I specified. Dan's he's, talking he's, about he's, the actual Codex standalone release. Yeah, which is why the question, question was the, the question was when uh, how long between the Codex being released was. Uh, I agree with Richie, of course. Uh, you know, don't you know, know. Sorry, boo my score. The army Phil. box was the army box was re- was released on September twenty four. The balance update was on September twenty nine, and the Codex didn't release until October twenty nine. Oh, so I was pretty close. You you were, you but were not close, close enough. enough. It, was a, it, was a trick, it was a trick question. It was before the because it was before it actually came out. But Dan gets a point, because Dan was the closest. I'll take it, Phil. I'll take it. Yes, that's right. Golf clap me. <laughs> so get up. Ooh, Phil's tears. I'm not yum, bitter. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> okay. Uh, and shout out to James Workshop there, doing his best. Sure. Okay. Next question is a, it's a, bit, it's a picture one. I'm gonna, you're going to see a picture appear at whatever your internet speed is. What is this? Ay, 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 ay. Dan. Uh, it is the Goth Rockers um, 40k tour or Universal tour. It's its music tour. That's correct. It is the Goth Rocker tour dates. There you go. Just tour dates. Nice. That'll do. I wonder if worry there was some specific language. But yes, tour dates. <laughs> there we go. All right. Next question. How many different tickets are there that you can buy for Warhammer Fest? Long, well, unless someone gets it correct, we're going to go with closest by the end of it. Dan, you buzzed first. 38. Dan's gone with 38. Next to buzz was Tim. Uh, 24. Tim's gone with 24. Phil? I'm going to go strategic 23. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> oh, this is, unfortunately, you were strategic in the wrong direction because the answer was 34 tickets. What? So no Dan way. wins. Wow. There are 34 Jeez. different tickets, it was a types ridiculous of tickets you can buy. Of tickets. And it's actually quite a small. rolling down for a while. Compared to what they have for like the US Opens and things, it was, quite, it was, it was much more restrained than them. Yeah, because there was like painting seminars, single mm. day events in different days, doubles events, the actual game itself. Like, the like, movie, there's movie night, the that. quiz. Mm. Yeah. Like the movie night and the quiz. It's a bit of a gym. Like, yeah. Well, oh, it so depends how good no the quiz capacity. is. Well, we might check out the quiz and you know critique it. How good it is? Indeed. <laughs> from our position of authority on these yes, things. Yes, from our position. <laughs> yes, yes. Of, of whatever we quality level we say this is. <laughs> well, if they want, if they want to rank amateur to host it, I'm, I am available. <laughs> I'm very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Another picture. What is this in the next picture you see? Tim. Well, <laughs> there's two answers. There's, oh, there's, there's, no, no, there's, there's, there's one answer. There is one answer. That's correct. There's the, the debris, debris of Cadia as seen in Dark Tide. <laughs> yeah. And on that bombshell, that is the end of this round. We will now return to the scorekeeper to get an update on the current standings. Well, that was a gripping round. Shook things up a little bit, I think you'll say. Uh, Let me have a little look at the points and we can see how everyone did. Oh, oh my, I seem to have been attacked by the numbers. Oh, oh no. Um, But uh, I can safely say that Dan did a whopping job. He scored four points that round, putting him on eight points. Still not quite in the lead, but he's catching up. 
Well done to you, Dan. And Phil, he only got two points, but he is still ahead on 11. Yes, la di da Phil. I bet your mum's proud. Still in the lead as always. la di la la I mean, um, I mean, sorry. Uh, yes, uh, Tim, he scored two points, and uh, he's on five points in total, putting him sadly in last place. Uh, keep up, Tim. Keep up. You can do it. Keep up. And with all that said and done, uh, we now go on to the fifth round. I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure that will be a bit more exciting for everyone. Let's see, back at the studio, how they get on. Thank you, scorekeeper. So you're all hotting up now as we're getting close to the end. I'm getting this close, round man, I'm getting close. Not... I can feel the heat of Phil. It's so, so cold. This is the... This is the not the rumor engine round because the rumor engine is something that Games Workshop does. But you will see a close up from a miniature. You just have to tell me which miniature it is from. Here is our first close up. Ay, 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 ay. Dan. That is from a Chaos Knight thing. Dan's going for Chaos Knight thing. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, uh, Phil, you buzzed in second. Uh. Maybe it is wrong. I was going to say Chaos Knight Abominant. Uh, that is also incorrect. Tim, would you like to have a go? Is it part of the Crute Kill Team? It is. It's not specific. It's not too specific, but I'll give it to you. It is the Crute Tracker from the new Kill Team. Nice. Well done, well done Tim. Tim. Well, well done, Tim, even. Well done, Tim. But yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks. <laughs> well done, Tim. Okay. Here is our next close up. Dan. Oh Dan is buzzed. It is the Abominant Chaos Possessed. Uh, not Chaos Possessed, sorry, Cultist Possessed or something. Abominant Cultist, I'll go with that. Cultist Abominant, something like that. Uh, I'll give it to you if neither of the other, if Phil or Tim can't give a more specific <laughs> correct answer. Well, they're just, they're just trying to oh, put the same word. Phil. <laughs> Basically. Um... Yeah, no, I can't get, I can't do better than can't that. Do, basically, I, Tim, I can't do better than that. And I, I was going to say a demon prince. So, well, that would have been wrong. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it was an accursed cultist, and you'll get the point. Accursed cultist—that's oh, what they're yeah. called. Yes. I mean, he is not looking like he's having a good day. <laughs> that, I don't like a, that model. That's a that's a model and a half. That one. <laughs> I've, I don't like the paint job. I actually think the model's pretty cool. I think if you saw that in reality with a really cool, like grim dark paint job, I think that would absolutely land. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Here we go. Here's our next close up. Which miniature is this? Ay, 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 ay. Dan has buzzed in. That is. Oh, God. Now I've actually forgotten. It is. It is uh, the Lord Solar. That is correct. It is Lord Commander Solar. Wait, no, I can trump him. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Lord no. Solar Leonidas use his real name. It's not Le- well, Leonidas shut is up, incorrect, Phil. Phil. So it's that would that would not have been enough to 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 trump it. So Dan's getting the point. That's completely correct. Favoritism here. Lord Commander Solar. <laughs> Favoritism. Wow. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have another close up. What is this from? Oh, Dan has buzzed in. Chaos Knight Abominant. It is the Chaos Knight Abominant. Hey! Oh, I swear it's my internet now. Because Dan's getting in. Oh, here we me. go. Blaming, blaming his Making tools. Making all the excuses, Phil. You did really good in the other picture round, Phil. I know, but now Dan's getting in there before me. That's I'm not happy. Dan's getting in the way. All right. Let's have another close-up. What is this from? Oh, I know, but I don't know what it's called. This is probably one more for people at home, because this is quite obscure. Phil's going to give a go. Um, I I don't know the name, but it's a Votan... um, It's effectively like the Mole Launcher model. It's like a... It's it's not effectively... It is. That is the Stephania Berserker Mole Launcher. I'll give you that. Yeah, with the little robot guy uh, carrying the uh, bit behind. That's it. I mean, I knew what it was too, Phil. I just it couldn't figure out the words. 
Well, well, well you, had, you had seemed to win quite a few points just by roughly describing what it is before exactly everyone right. else well, roughly well. described what it was because they don't know what it's actually Well, you didn't called. roughly describe. You used, like, at least four... You, you literally said what it is. ...available words. Yeah, you basically said exactly Welcome. what it is. Yay, me. Yeah, OK. God, he's hard, he's hard work, this one, isn't he? Oh, no. Because no, no, he, he, okay. he's got a taste of victory at the minute. He doesn't want to let it go. Oh, no, I can't let it go. He feels it's within his grasp, and now he's getting, t- now he's getting <laughs> tilted. OK, here's our next close-up. Which miniature is this from? Ay, 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 ay. Dan has buzzed in. Oh, it's got an actual specific name, but I'm going to say World Eater Corn Lord on Juggernaut. That's not the specific name we're looking for. No, Can I know. It's got a specific Phil name. Phil try and steal. I've what it was. Lord Jobba Jobba? <laughs> Lord Jobba Jobba's Give close. <laughs> Lord Jumper Jumper's close. Uh, Tim, do you want to have a go? I know it's the Chaos Lord and Juggernaut. Well, yeah, we know that. We know the name of him. Yeah, I can't. I just can't remember his name. That's the, the thing. The specific one with the, the the two horns and the the axe because he, he he has the specific chain sword Juggernaut. The rest of them just have yeah. knifey mm. faces. And we're like, where's the rest of the Juggernauts? Like, is this a unit? Or are you just releasing this one, dude? Well. We will yeah, yeah. I mean, none of that is remotely closer to the answer on the board so Dan's getting the point the correct answer was Lord Invocatus but we yeah. won't alright <laughs> getting near the end of this round still to play for as long as Tim gets some of these right here we go what is the next <laughs> close up ay, 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 ay. Dan's buzzing in that is a blood thirster. Oh, it isn't. I know exactly what it is. It's not a blood thirster. Phil, what do you think it it is? Sorry. It's your favourite, Dan. It's the Avatar of Cain. Yes, yes, it is. It is the Avatar Avatar of Cain. Cain. (laughs) A blood thirster, to my defence, has a very (laughs) similar base. (laughs) I mean, to to, to be fair, it's close enough that if no one else guessed guessed it correct, I probably would have given it to you. (laughs) Yes, yeah. yeah. Because it kind of is a blood... It's sort of a blood thirster. Sort of. Well, you know... Kayla Major Kane, very different. Oh, yeah, it's of course very different, very different. Okay, here is our last close up. Which miniature is this? Wow! Oh, Tim's buzzed. Is that the new Dark Mechanicum dude, uh, Vosteren? I'll give you it. I'll, gi- I'll give you that. I'm going to give you that. It's correct. It was Vashtor, the new Dark, Me- Dark Mechanicus guy. Vashtor. Oh, Vastor. <laughs> and that is the end of our close-up round. For one final check-in on the proceedings, scorekeeper, what are the standings now? Oh, that was a very close round. I loved how everyone did. Everyone scored some points. Very good. Now, let's have a look at the scores. So, in my sack, I have four points for Dan... That puts him on a total of 12 points. Big score for you this round, Dan. But was it enough to pip Phil to the post? Uh, well, Phil, he only scored two points, but he's on, oh, let's see, 13 points. So he's ahead, but just by one. Very close. All to play for. Now, Timmy, he scored just two points, putting him on seven, bringing up the rear, as they say, but still all to play for. Don't feel bad. Anyone can win in the next round. There's going to be some big points happening here, and people can steal some points, I believe, according to Richie. But I'll hand it over to him now to explain how that works. Bye-bye for now. We're now in to our final round, the Find the Answer round. Now, prior to the quiz, each of our contestants was given some homework to come up with some plausible but incorrect answers to a series of questions. These will then be shown to um, the, to individuals. Uh, the individuals, so for example, we'll start with somebody, um, Dan, I think it is we're going to start with, and he will give, be given a multiple choice question. One answer is correct, and one answer is from Phil, and one answer is from Tim. If he gets it correct, he gets a point. But if he gets it wrong, the person whose answer he chose gets the point. So, still all to play for as we go into this final round. The first question, this is for Dan. Okay, I'm ready. What was, the, what was the name of the 10th Legion before they were joined by their Primarch Ferris Manus? Was it 
the Iron Tempth, the Stormwalkers, oh, yes, the Iron or the Ironborn? Um, the three options haven't quite loaded on my screen here. I'm going to go with Stormwalkers. Dan is going to go with Stormwalkers, and Stormwalkers is correct. Yay! Wait for Dan. <laughs> D- did you know that, Dan, or was that just a good guess? Um, I didn't know it, but Heresy has a habit of naming the legions completely different things by the time they find their Primarchs. <laughs> so I <laughs> guess enough. based on both of yours contained the word iron, I was like, eh, <laughs> like <laughs> probably not that. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they neither of them clearly looked up what it was actually called to give to try and throw you off. I, I yes, did actually. Yeah, it was very kind of you. Very kind. <laughs> Iron Temp was from Tim, and Ironborn was from Phil. But no stealing of points that round. Next up is okay. we're sticking with you, Dan. We're sticking with your questions. Okay. Questions for you. So your next question is: What is the homeworld of the Croot? Is it? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to pronounce these as best as I can. Is it Peck, Taros, or Crouton? <laughs> See for a while, I thought I thought they were like the Tau, who just their world is their, also their name. But I guess obviously that isn't the case. Let's say it's Crouton, in which case I'm be amazed. I'll go with Peck. Dan's going to go with Peck, and that is the correct yeah, answer. I had I no idea. I had that to be honest. Answer. I thought that was a ridiculous enough name to sound like it came out of third edition 40k. So I was like, yeah, that'll <laughs> probably be all right. Taros is like, you know, Crouton I should have given just out. Of, Phil did, I thought it was, I so thought Crouton was. <laughs> if, you, if you gave Crouton, you'd give points to Phil. <laughs> I thought yeah. I would uh, do a joke answer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if you, if someone question. had just put the answer Crout, though, I definitely would have gone for it because I would have assumed it was like the towel. Fair enough. Okay, last question for you, Dan. What, no, who is Gideon Ravenor? Is Gideon Ravenor oh, a High Lord of Terror? An Ordo Xenos Inquisitor, or a member of the Logos Historica Verita? Jesus. Um, an Ordo Xenos Inquisitor. He's going with an Ordo Xenos Inquisitor, which is the correct answer. Oh my god. Smashing Dan has nailed up. all three of his questions. Easy one. I mean, it, 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 I gave I gave this question specific. I gave this to Dan because I knew it would be it might be harder for Dan to get because someone like you Phil would just get this. Because yeah, I Gideon, no idea. Gideon Ravenor is. Yeah. is well, t- Phil, who is Gideon? Who is Gideon Ravenor? Uh, he was the, the, like especially like an acolyte of uh, Eisenhorn, but then became his own Inquisitor and hunted down uh... Uh, Eisenhorn. And he's like a psyker in a floating coffin. Gotcha. Mm. I guess that yours, Phil, was going to be a member of the Logos Historica Verta year or whatever it was. Cause <laughs> yeah, it's like I, a... I almost went for uh, like an Ordo Hereticus Inquisitor because then it'd be very similar. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that would have been smart. No, I'll go that for something a bit smart. different. Well, there you go. Okay, your questions are now done, Dan. It's just now it's up for you to try and, to try and get points from the others with your, with your answers. Well, Dan of the past tried his very best. I oh, know. <laughs> So, Phil, Prince Ariel, High Admiral and Eldari Ortrak, wields which Eldritch artifact? Is it the Spirit Seer, the Carveer, or the Spear of Twilight? Ooh. I thought he had a... Hmm. He's thinking. Well, the fact that two of you have done Spear makes me think it must be... The spear. Uh, I'm going to go with Spear of Twilight. Phil's going with Spear of Twilight. That is the correct answer. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well done, Phil. <laughs> uh, I didn't Spirit realize that was from more Dan. people than Prince Uriel held that weapon. Mm. Mm. No, he's the, only, he's the only one who does. Oh, right, okay. But Prince yeah, Uriel, Twilight, High so Admiral, and Eldari Autarchs wield which Eldari artifact? Oh no, so because Prince, Prince Uriel, Uriel, Uriel is the is an, because he is an High Admiral and Eldari. Oh, I see what it's so. Prince Uriel, the High Admiral and Eldari. Oh, okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. That might. I mean, that's possibly my my punctuation as well. I apologise to my English teachers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Phil. Next question for you. 
hopefully so hopefully you'll get one of these wrong because so far it's been a clean sweep of getting them right uh during the war of the beast which space marine chapter was completely wiped out was it the imperial fists the astral drakes or the rainbow marines <laughs> oh it's a juicy one <laughs> Like completely wiped out. <laughs> wiped out, mate. Wiped out. Non-existent. Is this a trick question? <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, logically, it is because there's two there's two answers which are designed to trick you. Yeah, that's exactly from these two, from these two gentlemen here. Well, no, no, no. I uh, well, the question is. Completely wiped out, as in no longer existing, but obviously discount and peel fists. But as in wiped out, but then rebuilt still, or nearly wiped out. Mm. What's the answer, Phil? Oh, right. You've got to give an answer while I time you out. What, what I th- right, I th- while I think it's this, I'm not going to go, I think it might be peel fists, but because I don't think they were, because they were there, they were on like one of the covers. But I don't think they would have been completely wiped out because obviously they're still around, right? So, by that logic, I'm going to say Astral Drakes. So you're, uh, you're going with Astral Drakes. So I've got there in the end. He's gone for Astral Drakes, uh, yeah. which is incorrect. The correct answer was oh, the no. Imperial Fists. <laughs> oh, damn it. The Imperial Force were completely wiped out and they had to re- do a special call to get all the other um, successor chapters in and they all donated their seed to reproduce oh, God. the That's where the last fists. wall protocol comes from isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. I mean I thought that I had a vague thing that that was a thing but then it was like but then surely that wouldn't make sense right, if they all be wiped out but okay but and Tim question. was um, gave Astral Drake so Ooh. Tim gets a point well done yeah. well done Tim I mean Rainbow oh. Marines was quite close mm, that's a good one that was a good one yeah, they famously have been sort of wiped out as well, but I don't know if they've given them that kind of send-off. <laughs> All right, Phil, here's your last question. What is the name of the orc warlord who battles eternally at the Brass Citadel? Is it Horn Chopper, God Stomper, or Tusker? Oh, bloody hell. These are all difficult. Oh, he's thinking hard again. Orc names are the worst, aren't they? <laughs> They're great. I love them. Could just as easy be any of them, really. I'm going to go Tusker. Yeah. Phil's going to go with Tusker, and that is the correct answer. It is Tusker. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Good choice. It was the least silly one out of all of them. I think that was my only like way of guessing that one. But you could believe it, though, right, if old Horn Chopper was... <laughs> was an old Stomper turned True. up. Yeah. Good, good, both good ones for sure. Hello! Just interrupting to let you know the points so far. After Dan and Phil have had their goes, they are on 15 points each. Neck and neck! Isn't that exciting? Uh, so, if it stays as a tie, there will be a tiebreaker question. Otherwise, if someone can steal some points off of Tim in his round, they will be crowned the winner! Back to the show. Okay, we now go over to Tim. Can you get these right, or will you be giving me, points to give me, either give me, give me. Dan or Phil? Your first question is, what is flecked? Is it a unit of distance used in warp travel? Is it a drug which lets you see chaos? Or is it carrion birds on the abominant night? I don't think it's a drug. I have no idea what this is, but I don't think it's a drug. I think it's between the other two. Mm, Let's go with the carrion birds on the bottom of night. You've gone with the carrion birds on the bottom of night. The correct answer was, it's a drug which lets you see chaos. Ah! Uh, Which means you have given Phil a point. Ah. Oh, Phil, you get the point back. No, I took... Clearly, the carry on birds are the carry on birds. You don't need <laughs> got another name. <laughs> yeah, but you never know in 40k. They might call yeah. it something else. I was quite happy with a unit of distance. For that, that's travel. a good oh, one. That was, that was clever. Yeah. Oh, that, that is was good. Right. That was yeah. good. That was good. <laughs> okay, next question good for enough. Tim. 
The Sons of the Cyclops are a special formation in which Chaos Space Marine chapter? Is it the Black Legion, the Alpha Legion, or the Word Bearers? Word Bearers. He's going with the Word Bearers. The correct answer was the Black Legion. Which means you have <laughs> given up again Tim, to Phil. You're ruining me. Uh, I'm, I'm just tapping into your mind, Tim. Phil, I'm He's just giving it to you now. To Phil. Like, thank you, thank you. Okay, last question uh, for you. <laughs> Unless it's a tiebreaker, last question of the quiz. Tim, the Ultramarine's third company is also known as what? Is it the Scourge of the Xenos, the Saviors of Ultramar, or the Depths of Despair? <laughs> No idea. I want to say the Scourge of Xenos. No, Saviors of Ultramar, just because of the whole Tyranid invasion thing, which I think was to do with the third company. In that case, yeah. then, you, unfortunately, that. that is the incorrect answer. The correct answer yeah, was Scourge of the Xenos. Look, I got it wrong, yeah. <laughs> which means Saviors of Ultramar, which... Was Phil again? You've given Phil another point. There you go, Phil. Thanks, All the Tim. way for you, mate. All three <laughs> points for you. Free for free. Well done. I thought Debs. Oh, anyway, I won't defend myself. I thought that was all right, but obviously not good enough again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was very good. Well, after that, we will now hand over to the scorekeeper to do the final rundown and reveal who the winner of the Lookout Sir 40k Quiz of the Year 2022 is. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone! What a gripping finale! I absolutely loved it! Well, let's have a look at the final results. So, in last place, we have Old Timmy. You scored just one point that round, but you're on eight in total. Congratulations! What a result! That's a very good score indeed! Uh, I mean, it's not quite double digits, but, you know, there is always next year, so please come back then and try again. Moving on to second place with three points that round and scoring a total of 15 points is Dan. Well done, Dan. Well done. Solid outing and also double digits. See, Tim, double digits. Well done, Dan. That's that's just, just excellent. Now, let's go on to the final winner of the day. So, can we have a drum roll, please, everyone? Scoring five points, stealing some from Tim. Uh, he is on 18 points in total, and it's Phil. Well done, Phil. Well done. Congratulations on that result. You did most excellent. Yay. Well done, Phil. 18 points. Solid result. A very close game indeed. Now, congratulations to you all for taking part. Participation medals all round. What a show. And thank you, Richie, for putting on a grand quiz. Now, Merry Christmas, everyone, and a Happy New Year. Whee! I have to be impartial, uh, obviously, as the Cooch. quiz master. I mean, Dad. Dad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredible. Congratulations, Phil. You've finally won the Lookout Sir Quiz of the Year. How do you feel? Uh, ecstatic. That is... Ooh, that was touch and go at the end. I thought Dan was going to snatch it off me, but it almost happened. But well done, Tim. Thanks for having my back. <laughs> I hope he's getting his envelope of money. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll slip it to him later. This is a fix. No, no. Congratulations, Phil. A worthy winner. A worthy winner. Well done. Long overdue, you probably would feel. And some may say. Yes, I'm sure they would. And to present your prize, Phil, we have a special message from former champion Joe. Hello and congratulations to Phil for winning the big fat quiz of the year. Uh, obviously made easier by the fact that I wasn't there to write all the questions for him or for him to steal all the answers. Uh, so... But well done, well done for, for trying and me making it easier for you. Uh, the uh, the goblin trophy sadly was lost, but obviously not sad because I won it and fair and square, and it's my job to lose it apparently. 
but maybe it might turn up next year, or I'll get a new and I'll paint it gold and give it a little beard to represent the the winners of such awards, because uh, that's what they have. When every time you win, you have to grow a beard, or if you have a beard, you're more likely to win. Yeah. Thank you for obviously watching this year, um, and I hope to be back next year. Okay, I love you. Bye bye. Well, isn't that kind? Very kind. And he said he'd never be on the podcast again. He's also sincere. He never, he never de- deals in half truths. That boy. What a good lad. Well, again, congratulations, Phil, and Merry Christmas to, and a Happy New Year and Happy Holidays to everyone watching or viewing, listening, however you are doing it for all the various social platforms. Happy Christmas, everyone. Bye-bye. Happy New Year. Merry Bye-bye. Christmas. Happy Bye-bye. Christmas. Bye. 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 I think I recognize some of those names. Oh, they're on the naughty list for sure. Naughty, naughty filly. On that little emoji round. I'm not, I've not forgotten. I've not forgotten. Oh, and now we have some of our lovely Patreon supporters. Thank you, thank you. Oh, they're a very nice chap. They're a very nice chap indeed. I think you've got something very good under your tree today. Ah, I see you there, Timmy. Keep up, keep up, leading from the rear as always. You can do it. Up the top you go, up the top. There you go, chap. There you go. Now, now I think we're finished, everyone. You don't need to stick around and hang out with old me. I'll be okay for next year. I'll I'll see you around then. Okay. Off you go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.